Right now, over 300 of China's J-20 stealth fighters are operational. That's more than America's entire F-22 fleet. They're rolling off production lines at 120 aircraft per year. Meanwhile, the last F-22 was built back in 2011. So how does the U.S. plan to counter this growing threat? The answer isn't building more jets, it's something far more strategic. The F-22 and F-35 are being networked together in ways that turn individual fighters into a single, deadly system. And it's already happening. The U.S. Air Force isn't trying to match China's numbers. Instead, they're creating a team. The F-22 Raptor brings raw power and unmatched air superiority. The F-35 Lightning brings something different. It's a flying supercomputer that sees everything and shares it instantly. Together, they're being woven into a larger network that includes drones, satellites, and ground systems. This isn't science fiction. In June 2025, F-22s and F-35s flew together in real combat during strikes in the Middle East. They drew enemy fire, coordinated in real time, and cleared the path for gommers. This is the future of air combat, and China knows it. The J-20 is impressive. It's got range, firepower, and China is building them fast. But the U.S. is betting on quality, networking, and decades of combat experience. The question isn't which jet is better, it's which strategy wins when the stakes are this high. If you agree that smart strategy beats sheer numbers, type yes in the comments. Let's talk about what we're up against. China now has over 300 J-20 stealth fighters in service. Just two years ago, that number was under 200. By 2030, some estimates say it could hit 800. That's not a typo. 800 fifth-generation stealth fighters. The U.S., on the other hand, has 187 operational F-22s. That's it. Production stopped in 2011. The F-35 program is still ramping up, with around 170 to 190 deliveries expected this year. But here's the thing. The Air Force isn't panicking. They're adapting. See, the J-20 wasn't designed to dogfight. It was built for long-range strike missions and to take out support aircraft like tankers and early warning planes. It's got nearly double the combat radius of an F-22 or F-35. That's a real advantage in the vast Pacific theater. It can carry up to 14 air-to-air -air missiles when loaded externally. And the newest variant, the J-20S, is a twin-seat model. That second pilot isn't there for training. They're managing drones, electronic warfare, and coordinating attacks. China's thinking ahead. But numbers don't tell the whole story. The U.S. military has something China doesn't decades of experience operating stealth fighters in real combat. And they've learned that the future isn't about lone wolves. It's about the pack. So how do you counter a larger fleet? You make your jets smarter. The F-22 and F-35 were never meant to fight alone. They're being integrated into something called Joint All-Domain Operations, or JADO. It's a fancy term for a simple idea. Everything talks to everything. The F-22 is still the king of air-to-air -air combat. It can supercruise at Mach 1.8 without afterburners. It's faster, more maneuverable, and in a dogfight, it's nearly unbeatable. But it was designed in the 1990s. Its data link doesn't play well with other aircraft. That's where the F-35 comes in. It's not just a fighter, it's a sensor platform. It collects data from satellites, other jets, ships, and ground units. Then it fuses all that information into a single picture and shares it with everyone in the network. Pilots call it quarterback because it runs the play. It sees threats before they see you. It coordinates attacks. And it does this while staying nearly invisible to enemy radar. The F-22's radar cross-section is about 0.001 square meters. That's roughly the size of a golf ball. The J-20 stealth is good, but analysts estimate it's closer to first-generation stealth, somewhere between 0.08 and 0.3 square meters. That's a huge difference. In a head-to-head -head engagement, the F-35 likely sees the J-20 first, and in air combat, the first one to see usually wins. 
Before we go further, if you're finding this interesting, take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs nothing, but it helps us keep bringing you content like this. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Both the F-22 and F-35 are being upgraded to control drones, not just one or two, up to eight at a time. Lockheed Martin has already demonstrated this using a touchscreen interface in the cockpit. The pilot taps a screen and drones move into position, scout ahead, or engage targets. These aren't toy drones. They're called Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs. The Air Force plans to buy over 1,000 of them by the early 2030s. They'll fly ahead into dangerous airspace, draw enemy fire, gather intelligence, and even carry weapons. And they're cheap compared to manned fighters. If one gets shot down, it's a loss, but not a tragedy. China is doing the same thing. The J-20 has been tested with drone swarms. In some simulations, even when the J-20 stealth and radar were downgraded to match US jets, it still won 95% of engagements because it had drones. That's the new reality. Whoever masters manned, unmanned teaming first gets a massive advantage. But the US has a head start. The technology is already being tested in real-world conditions. In 2025, Lockheed Martin ran exercises linking F-35s, F-22s, and drones through secure networks. Data flowed in real time. Decisions were made in seconds, not minutes. That's the edge. The F-22 and F-35 aren't standing still. Right now, both jets are being upgraded with technology originally developed for the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, the Air Force's sixth generation fighter. Lockheed Martin lost that contract to Boeing, but they're not wasting what they learned. They're calling it Fifth Generation Plus. The idea is simple. Take the F-35 and F-22 airframes and pack them with next-gen sensors, electronic warfare systems, and AI-driven targeting. Lockheed CEO said they can deliver 80% of sixth-gen capability at half the cost. That's a game-changer. The F-22 is getting new infrared search and track sensors. These let it detect stealth aircraft without using radar, which would give away its position. The F-35 is getting upgraded radar, better data links, and improved stealth coatings. Together, these upgrades keep both jets competitive against newer threats like the J-20. And let's not forget, these jets are flown by some of the best trained pilots in the world. The U.S. Air Force has been operating stealth fighters since the 1980s. They fought in the Balkans, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria. That experience matters. China's J-20 pilots are skilled, but they haven't been tested in combat. That's an advantage you can't buy. All of this sounds great on paper, but does it work? Yes. In June 2025, during strikes in the Middle East, F-22s and F-35s operated together in real combat. They drew enemy surface-to-air missile fire, allowing B-2 bombers to strike their targets. The coordination was seamless. The enemy never saw it coming. That mission proved the concept. The F-22 and F-35 don't need to fight alone. They're force multipliers. One F-35 can guide a dozen other assets, fighters, bombers, drones, even ships. It's like playing chess while your opponent is still figuring out checkers. China is watching closely. They're adapting too. The J-20S, with its two-seat configuration, is their answer. But here's the key difference. The US has been refining network warfare for over a decade. China's catching up fast, but they're not there yet. Our men and women in uniform deserve credit. They're not just flying these jets, they're inventing the tactics, testing the limits, and putting their lives on the line to keep us safe. That dedication and experience is something no amount of money or technology can replace. So here's the bottom line. China's building more J-20s, that's a fact. But the U.S. is building something smarter, a networked system where every jet, drone, and sensor works together. The F-22 brings the muscle, the F-35 brings the brains, and together they're redefining what air dominance means. The question isn't whether the U.S. can compete, it's whether China can keep up.
If you found this breakdown valuable, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into military strategy and technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.